<clears throat> Hi everyone, it's Miss Kristen, aka Kristen. I'm back today with another edition of Something From Nothing, and I'm really excited to share this idea with you. Um, it's the holiday season, so I know you guys are all going to be decorating and buying presents or making them, and you're going to have to be wrapping a lot of things. That's my favorite part of the holidays is the surprises. Um, so definitely like everything to be wrapped and I don't want to know anything. So today I thought I would share with you an easy way to wrap some gifts with items that you probably have already in your home or you can pick up very cheaply or even free um, if you have the right connections. So a lot of us will just go to the store and buy some gift bags just like this one. It's very beautiful and um, we actually, when we get these, we always save them. Uh, that's a great thing to do. And we also save our um, gift boxes, as you can see right here next to me. Um, and we will use them over again with some coordinating um, tissue paper. But if you don't have that option, I'm going to show you today a really fun, um, very rustic way of making a beautifully decorated um, wrapped Christmas presents. So to get started, all you're going to need is a beautiful paper bag. This one's from my local Kroger store. Thank you Kroger for always having paper bags. Um, I, if I forget my recycle bags, I always use the paper and I love that. <clears throat> You'll also want some string. This is literally string I just had laying around my house. I promise you, I did not go out and buy this for this um, video. Also, some yarn. Again, I had this at my house. It just happens to be these beautiful colors that are perfect for Christmas time. And um, if you decide to change the colors, of course, you could do these like in some blues. That would be great for either Hanukkah or you could do this type of um, wrapping for any type of birthday or holiday just by changing some colors or using whatever you have. And of course it doesn't have to be red and green just because it's Christmas. And then of course you're going to need some scissors and tape. And then um, a hole punch is a good thing to have but it's not absolutely essential. A couple of pens. I've just got some Sharpies right here. And then <clears throat> um, just to make this really easy for myself, um, you're gonna need some uh, little little scrap bit of cardboard. I've just cut out a piece from this lunch from earlier, so I have this little piece. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is be sure that whatever you're wrapping is going to fit into your paper bag. And you can do one of two things. You can just, first of all, you're gonna wanna open it up, toss the item in. If it fits in the bag and you've got a little bit of wiggle room, then you're fine. This is going to work perfectly. And you can either do it this way and just fold it over and hide that bit of um, advertisement from the store. Or you can do what I'm doing today, which is to go ahead and start with a box. Um, and so I'm going to do that. And then again, just to be sure that it's going to work. I just slide it in and if you have room to spare, which I have plenty, then you know that you've got enough paper. So that would be the most important thing. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cut down the side of this as quickly as I can just to save on time here. Just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and cut all the way around the bottom because I don't really want all that folded over and glued portion of the bag. I'm just going to use what's on the outside. Or the sides, not the outside. Um, so just cutting down one end and then cut off the bottom. You see, that's where all the folds are that make it into a paper bag. So then you're left with a nice big piece of paper and wonderfully 
Now you can actually fold this on the inside so it's not seen at all. So you go ahead and you can um, wrap your present however it fits. I'm going to go ahead and do this way just because I like to have excess. So you can see there's a lot of excess this way. If I do it this way, I'm running short on the ends. So go ahead and fit it on there. So now I have my um, package all basically wrapped up. Doesn't look like much yet. At this point, you could use your markers to kind of give this a pattern, some polka dots or some stripes or anything that you want, um, but you don't have to, and I'm not going to because I think that this looks really nice. Um, if you were going to do a lot of packages like this, I would recommend it just to give each one some flair. And now you're going to take your string. This You can see this is a very, very thin string. It's not um, thick at all. And... Um, because of that, I'm going to be using lots of it. The thicker the string, or if you were just using yarn. So I'm going to go ahead, hold this side, and wrap it around a few times. And here you can wrap it any direction or way that you want. That's five times that way, and now I'm going to go ahead and bring it back up, and then I have it under, so now I'm going to wrap it the other direction. Woo. Just like this. Wrap it a few times. Okay. So now it kind of looks like that. Already it's kind of looking fun. Again, this is a real rustic um, way of doing things. You can see here, my tape does not stick very well. Um, and it just depends on the tape you use. But anyways, all right. Now I'll go ahead and give this a trim. And I'm going to just tie it here in the middle. Course it's giving me a hard time. Goodness me. Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. Tied up. Already this is looking pretty nice. But now with this little string, you can't really make a fancy bow. It just, it's just going to lay flat. Um, if you had ribbon, of course, that would improve this look already. But let's just say you've got string or even thread. Um, I'm going to go ahead and trim off that extra. And here is where the yarn comes in. I'm going to set this aside for a minute. Now you're going to take your yarn and your extra piece of cardboard by two inches square. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to make some fuzzy little pom-poms to decorate the top of our package. And you can do just one or you can do multiple ones. You can do different sizes. And basically the way you get different sizes is by doing different size squares. So all you do to make these really quickly, you're going to take your piece of cardboard. I've already cut just a small slit so that I can put the end in and it'll stay there. Just so I don't have to hold it. But you can, it's really, really easy. So then you're just gonna wrap it. Wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. The more times you wrap it, the bigger your pom-pom is gonna be. And I've done one that was uh, 20 wraps and I did one that was 30 and I still don't like um, the size of them so I'm gonna just keep going for quite a few wraps. Um, I did watch one tutorial just to kind of get an idea of how to do this. Um, they didn't do it exactly this way, so I won't um, worry about that. But basically, the more wraps you have around, the better. So I'm guessing I've done about 60 or so while 
I've been talking. You see it's kind of thick. Okay, so I'm just going to cut the end. And then you're going to need a nice, oh, about foot long piece of string. And um, what I'm doing is I'm just going to slide it under all of the pieces. It's a little, a little tricky here at this part. And then I'm going to tie that just as tight as I can get it. Just as tight as I can get it. Almost pulling where you can kind of feel like fibers are maybe um, starting to pull apart. Don't, don't go quite that tight, but as tight as you can get it. And I'm going to tie it once on this side. Then I'm going to go ahead and take it off of my cardboard. This is where a lot of people differed in how to do this. So this is just what's been working for me. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the other side and go around the other side and tie it. So basically, <clears throat> hold on just a second, I'll show you what it looks like. Nice and tight, a couple of ties. Strings getting mixed up. Okay. Okay, so it's going to look like this, and you'll have your strings that you tied it with. These are going to help you tie it onto the package, so make sure you have a nice long piece. And it's going to look kind of like that. Now, this already kind of looks fun, and you could just tie this on there. But to get that pom pom effect, you're going to go ahead and cut through all of the little loops. And it does get a little messy. So you're going to want to do this. Well, just be aware, I guess. I mean, we, can, we all know how to pick up after ourselves. Whether we do it or not, that's a different subject. Okay, so then basically you have this kind of rough looking pom-pom. It's kind of not all that gorgeous at this point. Um, and now you're just going to want to trim it up so that uh, it looks a little neater and a little maybe more rounded. And the more you trim, the tighter, of course, it's going to look. And the more yarn or the more loops around you used, the better it'll look too. Rounded. There you have it. A nice, clean, cute little pom-pom that you can attach right to your present and you're just gonna put it through the strings there and tie it on and it isn't that cute actually this color it reminds me of oompa loompas i don't know why they're little palms on their shoes oh yeah they and their hat that's what it is it's like the right color i think Anyways, so there you go, and then you can just trim your strings then after you do that, and voila, you've got a really cute, and you can of course tie a few extras of these, make a little cluster, different sizes, different colors if you wanted, and then don't forget to make yourself a little tag, so I've just here used a little piece of paper bag that I cut into this cute little tag shape. I used my pens to make a little holly berry on it and then a to and from on the back. And um, of course that's what I use the hole punch for. So again, this is not an absolute essential. In fact, you could write right on the paper who it's to and from and um, you'd be all set. But just to kind of give it a little bit more I'm going to go ahead and just slide this tag right over the palm. I don't even have to tie it. <clears throat> and there it is. So cute. 
Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy my series, Something From Nothing. I'm gonna try and get one of those up maybe every month. Um, so this is my December edition. And if you liked this video, if you like this series, give it a thumbs up. Sorry it took so long. Again, I have to apologize for not being able to edit or trim these down. I'm gonna try and do some things um, through the YouTube um, website, but my current, um, my computer that I normally use to do all of the editing is down. Um, so thank you guys so much. Merry Christmas to everyone. 